Hello, this is Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. The world of football at odds over the FIFA corruption scandal. Good morning, it's Thursday the 28th of May. Also coming up this morning, Carol has the weather for us. Our main story, police around the world have continued their arrests and examination of financial records from football's world governing body, FIFA. Former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner spent the night in a prison cell after surrendering at a police station in Trinidad. There are growing calls for Friday's election of a new FIFA leader to be cancelled. More from our sports news reporter Alex Capstick. Voters will be asked if the UK should remain a member of the European Union when they go to the polls for the in-out referendum. The wording of the question has been released ahead of the introduction of the bill in the Commons later today. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is travelling around Europe trying to gather support for a change in Britain's membership of the EU. Our political correspondent, Ross Hawkins, has more. We're going to speak to the Foreign Secretary, Philip Hammond, about the Prime Minister's plans just after 7 o'clock. A review has uncovered nearly 2,000 cases of alleged physical and sexual abuse involving Methodist ministers as well as church employees, members and volunteers. The accusations date back to the 1950s. The Methodist Church, which commissioned the investigation, has offered its apologies to victims of abuse. Elizabeth... British security forces had thousands of agents and informants working inside paramilitary groups in Northern Ireland, a BBC investigation has discovered. The undercover operatives were recruited by the Army, MI5 and Special Branch, and many were involved in criminality and murder. The government says collusion with paramilitaries should never happen. It's apologised where it did. Our island correspondent Chris Buckler reports. And you can see the Panorama special Britain's Secret Terror Deals tonight on BBC One at 9 o'clock. Research suggests that women travelling from the West to join the jihadist group Islamic State in Syria are getting younger. Scientists based in Sheffield have discovered that breast cancers release chemicals to weaken bones and make it easier for tumours to develop. Their study... Scientists believe that they've discovered evidence of the earliest known fatal attack by one human on another. And one other story for you. James Bond and Pussy Galore are to be reunited in the latest novel based on Ian Fleming's creation. The author, Anthony... Trigger Mortis, there you go. Good Ten past title. six is the time now. Good touch. You've got anything to snap? I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not that clever or quick. Uh, see if I fell well for um, the guy behind you, Dick Advocat, who uh, will um, always be fond to those in Wearside after what he's done to Sunderland this season. He had nine games in charge and he's done exactly what he grabbed. Picture, it's not a terrific picture, but it's a great lead to uh, a much Can you better describe video his dancing clip. for us? <laughs> Let's just say he pulls out the crab. Um, <laughs> What's that? It's no, a dance you, you move. Can't, you can't put that it's out there and not show, not show us what it is. There's not, there's is it, not nearly enough it, room. Is it the it's, it's more about the feet. It's more about the feet and the sideways movement. Okay. Oh, a yeah. bit MC Hammerline. <laughs> if you like. Okay. If you like. Oh, I can imagine um, it now. Watch it now. No, we've teased it enough. Um, the duration of this programme. And as it stands, of course, that vote is taking place tomorrow, but that mm. will be the big question, of course, whether what will happen during the course of today. Mm. Ori, thank you very much. Oh, and that is uh, the main story across most of the front pages. Uh, indeed, the uh, Telegraph, one of the few, not to put it right on the front there, uh, the images yesterday... It's on the front page of The Times, um, front and centre, World Cup of Fraud. 14 FIFA executives accused of corruption after those dawn raids and, of course, more pressure on Sepp Blatter as the scandal engulfs football. And we've obviously been telling you about how UEFA has reacted as well. Down the bottom, um, it's been um, said that Tony Blair was left without a formal role in the Middle East peace process yesterday. He's stood down as an envoy after eight years of controversy and criticism. Um, it, the resignation had been expected for months, the Times says, but um, he'd hoped the United States it says, would come forward to hand him a new position. That hasn't emerged yet. Yes, just to give you a sense of uh, how some of the papers are uh, uh, following the story, the stench of corruption. Uh, the Sun makes its um, views very clear. Septic blatter, a play on his name, obviously, and saying that we want the 2018 World Cup. You'll remember that bid. Backed um, by um, David Beckham and... Um, Prince as well, um, Prince William, and we didn't get the we didn't get the bid. We lost the bid, of course. Now the um, scandal, the sun says, could revive England's hopes of hosting the 2018 Cup. Yes, that's a uh, thought picked up in the Independent as well. Except that, with his head in his hands, uh, th they're making the point here. If uh, it's proven that these uh, these allegations go back 
what, 24 years uh, at FIFA, then it would put into question many of the votes that have happened during that period of time. As Naga says, that would have included some of the decisions about the where, where the World Cup is to be held. Quick word on the EU as well. The formulation of the question that people are going to be asked when it comes to um, involvement in the European Union. Um, campaigners for a British exit were celebrating with the promise of an extra quick vote on the country's links with Brussels, so says the Express. And no picture on this story, but always fascinated by these ones. Escape dog found 150 miles away. So, nearly anywhere, lo and behold, they get a phone call from someone in Worcester, which is 153 miles from the dog went missing. Tilly's there, just like that. Was the rabbit there as well? You mean it was a very, very elongated chase? Yeah. It's Worcester. a very good question, one that's not addressed. <laughs> and a very <laughs> lucky <laughs> rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> if well, it managed yeah. to escape. Morning, yeah. Steph. Morning, but I'm Morning. still trying to picture this crab dancing that Aure was talking about. Well, have to well, get you know your dance see... moves as Yeah, well, but so. I can't think of the footwork that was involved, you know, being... goes like that. Uh, there's plenty right. of room on the other side of the studio, a little later on, possibly. Yeah, which I'm going to get Aure to show me. Yep. Why not? Sounds like anyway, a good idea. Anyway, let's talk... In the meantime, as much now, and cash isn't king as much as it was, and that's also hitting as well as not using as much cash. It's a beautiful note. And it won the International Bank Note of the Year. So there you go. I'm not surprised, actually, but <laughs> what a competition. Show, yeah. I know, there you go. <laughs> and I didn't read that anywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. And let's see, time now. It's 19 minutes past six. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Our main story is this morning. Let's take our first look at the weather this morning and say good morning to Carol. Morning. Hello. Carol, thanks very much. Um, uh, thank see. you. Time now, 6.22. Now, despite its name, the common dolphin was once a fairly rare sight in the waters off the west coast of Scotland, but now their numbers are increasing. Marine researchers are trying to find out why the dolphins are thriving in the Hebrides. Breakfast John Maguire joined a scientific survey to find out more. Your, the pictures looked amazing, didn't they? It is, it's always such a thrill, and I think John made that point. Is if you're out in the ocean, wherever you are, but off the coast of the UK especially, I think, if you see dolphins, it is the most extraordinary moment. You know, I've never had that experience. It does happen. I'm you see desperate them for it to often. happen. Desperate for it to happen. Um, on Breakfast, we've been talking, and later on in the programme, we're going to have an interview with Melissa Hart and... No, Miranda Hart and Melissa McCarthy. That must happen quite a bit. I bet it does. You know, I met them and they hadn't spent much time together before um, during talking to all the press, and then they got together and they were just rabbiting away. But they're quite unlikely heroes of a new spy film. We'll see more of that later on time now to get the news traveller weather where you are. Hello, this is Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. It's 6.30. Oh, it's Thursday, the 28th of May. We're going to have the latest news and sport with Ore in just a moment. Plenty to come, but first let's bring you up to date with the morning's main news. Police around the world have continued their arrests and examination of financial records from football's world governing body, FIFA. The former FIFA vice president, Jack Warner, spent the night in a prison cell after surrendering at a police station in Trinidad. European governing body UEFA is calling for Friday's planned election of a new FIFA leader to be cancelled. More from our sports news reporter Alex Capstick. British people will be asked, should the UK remain a member of the European Union when the in-out referendum is held? Now, we're going to talk to the Foreign Secretary about the Prime Minister's plans just after 7 o'clock. The Methodist Church in Britain has apologised to victims after it identified nearly 2,000 cases of alleged physical and sexual abuse by some of its members over the past 70 years. British security forces had thousands of agents and informants working inside paramilitary groups in Northern Ireland, a BBC investigation has discovered. Research suggests more professional women are joining the jihadist group Islamic State in Syria from the West. In Scientists based in Sheffield have discovered that breast cancers release chemicals to weaken bones and make it easier for tumours to develop. Scientists believe they have discovered evidence of the earliest known fatal attack by one human on another. They were... Those are the main stories this morning. Time now is 6.35. Um, more and more lines are coming through. It will be a really interesting day today. I mean, yes, even that the FIFA organisation just unravelling in front of our eyes, but today, with the spotlight on Sepp Blatter, like you say, we could hear and we could see more unravelling. Interesting thing is, obviously, he's not been... He's not been implicated in any of these allegations so far, but, of course, having been in charge of, of FIFA for so long, a lot of questions could come down to him and he could still be 
asked and, uh, and asked to, to see what he has to say about some of the allegations in due course. He's still leading the way off the field. Glad that Steven Gerrard came to light eventually. Uh, we will talk more about uh, FIFA uh, yes, we throughout the programme, of course, yeah. this morning. Thank you very much. Time now is 19 minutes to seven. British security forces had thousands of agents and informants working inside paramilitary groups in Northern Ireland, a BBC investigation has discovered. The undercover operatives were recruited by the Army, MI5 and Special Branch, and many were involved in criminality and murder. The government says collusion with paramilitaries should never happen, and it's apologised where it did. Our island correspondent Chris Buckler reports. It's time to take a look at the weather. It's time to talk to Carol. Carol, that's a lovely picture. Is that the kind of thing we should expect this morning across the country? Flies, doesn't it, Carol? Yeah. Seems like only just a short while ago we were talking about how wet May has been. It does indeed. Yeah. And May's going out with more wet weather as well. Back of it then and have a what, nice warm June. Thanks, Carol. Uh, let's see, time now, 6.48. Uh, Steph's got details for us now uh, about childcare. This is about the pledges made to do with uh, what may or may not be available. Yeah, all, uh, this is all from the Queen's speech yesterday where, of course, the government is setting out what, uh, what, what they, changes they want to make and childcare was a big... OK, see you later, Steph. We're going to talk FIFA a little later as we well. Are, yes. Sponsors are getting quite concerned, yeah, aren't yeah, they, about the corruption scandal. Yeah, that's a big deal for them, scandal. isn't it? OK, thanks, Steph. 6.51 is the time now. Miranda Hart has told BBC Breakfast that she's fed up of being defined by her height or her weight and wishes she could just be known for her acting alone. Call the Midwife star was speaking ahead of her appearance in the comedy film Spy, which sees Melissa McCarthy as a backroom operative turned full-fledged CIA agent. I was talking to Melissa and Miranda about the bruises they picked up along the way and about their on-off friendship. Good fun interviewing them. Some yeah, interesting two big personalities. Opinion. Big personalities. Yeah. Good, it, good opinions as well about the industry as well. I enjoyed that. And the film, Spy, is showing in selected cinemas this weekend. It goes on general release on the 5th of June. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Still to come this morning. Time now to get the news, travel and weather where you are.